you know what time it is. Oh, yeah. It's Friday, and that means it's time for a furry friend to visit the WAT so studios looking for a forever home. We love it. New at 4, WATE meteorologist Jesse Kiefer has Loki, Loki? Yeah. I think it's, I think it's Loki. Key? We're going to find, find out. <laughs> Take a look. <laughs> Well, joining us now from the Young Williams Animal Center is Grace, and Grace has brought Loki. Loki is a great-looking uh, young man, if you will. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you, Loki. Yes. So Loki is 10 years young. Uh, he That makes his adoption fee. It's only $40. No. Um, he's really a snuggle bug and, and a really great dog. He's had a lot of experience, and unfortunately, it hasn't all been so great. Okay. He's been in and out of the shelter since just about Christmas. He's had a couple of families who have been interested in adopting him, but uh, unfortunately they've all had other pets. And it, being an older guy, he just doesn't have any patience for some shenanigans. <laughs> you know what, I gotta get that, I understand. Well, hopefully Loki will find a forever home uh, real soon. Uh, a big weekend coming up, and, and the end of, we'll get to the end of February, get into March, we've got Mardi Gras coming up. But you've got a neat partnership with the Hallmark Channel about like a rescue dog show, right? Yes, yeah, so this is their third annual Best in Rescue Dog Show that aired last weekend. Okay. Um, and in conjunction with that, they've asked shelters across the country to participate in their adoption marathon. So Young Williams oh, okay. is one of the shelters that is going to do this. Um, and really, all that we need the public to do is come in and adopt their forever friends. And, and then we may ask them a couple of questions about their adoption story, why they wanted to come into Young Williams and rescue a pet rather than you know adopt a pet from a breeder. That's nice. That's great. Now, Mardi Gras is a big deal. Yes. <laughs> and it's coming up pretty soon. What, what, can, what can you tell us about what's, uh, what's coming up for the next couple of weeks before Mardi Gras takes yeah. place? So we're just two weeks away from Mardi Gras, which is our annual largest fundraiser. Yeah. We bring 15,000 people out to, to downtown and Market Square for our pet parade and festivities. Come here, Loki. Come here, Loki. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Um, we are still accepting a couple of vendor spots are, are available. So if you have a business that's interested in being a vendor, okay. give me an email. That's gbennett at young-williams.org. Um, but other than that, pre-registration is open now until mm -hmm. I believe it's March 1st. Okay. And that is $15. So you, you save a little bit of money by pre-registering. Day of registration is $20 and will be at Willow Ave. A little bit of discount there for sure. Yeah. And Mardi Gras is such a big community event and everybody loves it. I, I know it's a great time for everybody to, to enjoy, not only with our pets, but just the community as whole. Yes, it really yeah. is a great time. We have more than 80 vendors this year. Nice. Face painting, our, our food trucks, our spay and mobile <laughs> space shuttle is actually going to be on site doing microchipping and $10 rabies vaccines. So that's awesome. If you need a booster shot, be sure to come down visit us at Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras, and I think they have their own Mardi Gras.org, right? Yes, yep. and, and of course you can see all that on Young Williams dash or Young dash Williams dot org. There you see the uh, phone number on the screen. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for bringing Loki in. Absolutely. Thanks for having us. Have a great weekend. You too. Yeah. Loki was trying to hide. I think Loki was, but hopefully Loki will get a good home here soon. He's cute. He is very cute.